Hi guys, Owen here and I'm actually at Temple of Leia here in Cebu City. I'll be featuring in my Silk Air vlog from Cebu City to Singapore featuring the latest uh, terminal at McTan International Airport. Hope you like it. Today I'm flying with a travel mate and a co-vlogger Mitch Young. This is actually the second leg of my ASEAN trip. We booked a multi-city ticket on Singapore Airlines from Cebu to Bangkok and to Manila with a stopover in Singapore for only around $250. Originally our flight was scheduled to depart at 2.20 in the afternoon but it was informed ahead of time that the flight will be delayed to 4.20. It's our first time to experience the newest Terminal 2 at Mactan Cebu International Airport and Mitch and I are really excited to share it with you. Despite the fact that the flight is almost full, the check-in was pretty much deserted and the Silk Air ground personnel are very happy to assist us checking in our luggages. Silk Air offers 30 kilos of bags and good thing our bags are checked through to Bangkok, meaning there's no need for us to collect it in Singapore despite that our flight arrives Bangkok the following day. After check-in, we head straight to the travel tax counter as Filipino citizens are required to pay 1,620 pesos. Uh, another disadvantage here in Mactan Airport is you have to pay the terminal fee of 850 pesos, although by October, terminal fee will be included on the passenger's ticket. Immigration and security was quick even though there are multiple international departures that time. I'm very much impressed with this new terminal. I never felt agitated unlike whenever I flew out of Manila. After security, you'll be welcomed by duty-free shops just like in Hong Kong, Singapore, Delhi where you are required to pass through the duty-free shops. I like it though, it feels like you're in a shopping mall rather than in an airport. Now it's time to spot some planes. Terminal 2 offers a great view for aviation enthusiasts. Most of the airlines that flies out of Cebu are Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia. They operate a hub here in Cebu for their domestic and international operations aside from Manila. Many of the flights from Cebu is bound to South Korea. I believe Cebu is one of the favorite vacation getaways of most Koreans. There are also numerous cafes and restaurants within the terminal, although I find the price higher compared from the city center, but definitely you won't get hungry while waiting in the airport. They have a you know, plus of premium lounge. The terminal houses two airport lounges. There's Mabuhay Lounge by Philippine Airlines and Plaza Premium Lounge for other airlines. 
Thankfully, the reception staff from the Mabuhay Lounge allowed us for a sneak peek of the newest lounge so we can feature it here on this vlog. It offers adequate seating and plenty of choices on their buffet. The interior is very relaxing and you get as well a good view of the airport ramp. has just arrived from Singapore a bit late. We'll be flying on an Airbus A320 with registration 9VSLL. It's a 9-year-old aircraft with 12 seats in business class and 138 in economy. Due to the late arrival of the aircraft, our flight was moved to 4.50 p.m. Boarding commenced at gate 20 and Silk Air strictly implements its boarding policy by group number. we were then greeted by the very cheerful and energetic cabin crew of Silk Air. It's a great thing that despite that the flight is already delayed, the cabin crew are still poised and ready to be up service with their passengers. As we explore the cabin all the way to our seat, I noticed that many of the passengers are connecting from Singapore heading to Australia and Europe. Thanks to Mitch for these wonderful shots he shared to me. Here's a sneak peek of the rear galley and also the lavatory uh, as well. And uh, also here's the view of the rear economy section. All Silk Air's aircraft are not equipped with a personal TV monitor, unlike with their parent company, Singapore Airlines. Instead, they offer an overhead monitor shared to everyone, and also you can download the Silk Air Studio app where you can stream movies, TV series, music playlists, and play online games. Settled at seat 18A, the legroom is adequate with a 31 inches of pitch and 18 inches of width. As it's an old aircraft, it doesn't feature any universal power outlet to charge your device. From the back, my name is Bernard Link. One more call board, so you can fly uh, MI567. Uh, service to Singapore flight time this evening, 3 hours and 5 minutes. To be in the flight deck, you are the Deputy Commander, Senior First Officer of Wyman. And in charge of your safety and comfort time cabin crew, that by Mr. Yen. They will make sure you are well top of their flight today. Flight turbulence includes for your safety as you keep your seat as fastened whenever seated and to exercise caution. Keep your foot caught in the cabin. Our commentary includes the more flight information, in time to take relax and join the flights once again. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very good afternoon. <laughs> okay, this is flight MI567 to Singapore. I'm Daniel Queen Judge and assisting me today are Nisha, Gisela, Taisa, and Prince Billia. I'm expected to have 
pushback began at 4.38 in the afternoon and was surprised that even though most of the passengers are not yet settled onto their seats, we began pushing back. I guess the captain is really in a hurry to make our arrival not too late in Singapore as many are connecting passengers. We then took off around 4.50 p.m. and it's a three and a half hour flight to Singapore. Here's what's on the seat pocket. It has the Silk Air in-flight magazine, shopping catalog, air sickness bag, and safety card. Immigration card for Singapore as well as a pack of refreshing wet towel are handed over by the cabin. Meal service commenced and there was an option for chicken curry with rice or fish with rice. I asked for the curry meal which is, it looks so delicious and it smells so flavorful. The meal includes a slice of seasonal fruits, a soft bun, and butter. Also it comes with a metal cutlery which is very rare nowadays when flying with other airliners. I'm really satisfied with Silk Air's catering on this flight. The chicken is so tender and the curry sauce is rich and savory. Also, it's adequate enough for a 3-hour flight, so I'm giving it a thumbs up. Once the tray has been cleared, they also offered us a drink refill, which I also asked for another cup of Sprite. They also gave us a pack of mixed nuts. I 
was able to have a good nap and realized we're already starting our descent to Singapore. I'm very happy with the service of the cabin crew. They always carry a warm smile. Also during the meal service, they were quick enough to serve all the customers meal. One great thing is that they're always visible and ensuring that safety and comfort are met. Ground service in Cebu was excellent as well. They're all friendly and was able to help me change our seating assignment. Also, I like how organized they are following the boarding process. Despite that the aircraft arrived late in Cebu, the captain was able to make a very quick turnaround to make it on our way to Singapore. Also, the flight crew is very informative, providing us the flight status, something aviation enthusiasts would really appreciate. We arrived at 7.55 in the evening with a total flight time of 3 hours and 4 minutes. We were still able to manage to arrive ahead of our schedule. That's a relief for those with tight connection here in Singapore. I'm very much impressed with Silk's, Silk Air service. The only downside is the lack of personal IFE which in my opinion they should at least have since they're a partner of Singapore Airlines which is a 5 star airline. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this flight. Now we're in Singapore, we have about 9 hours or so to stay in the airport. We plan to go outside and check out Jewel uh, as our flight to Bangkok leaves 7 in the morning the next day. So did you like the Silk Air service as well? Let me know on the comment section. Also watch out for my vlog. Uh, I'll be flying the Boeing 787-10 of Singapore Airlines to Bangkok. It's going to be my second time. So stay tuned. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to Mitch Young. Uh, please check out his channel as he also has a lot of exciting airline reviews. at Singapore and met a good friend and subscriber Leonard Yeo. Uh, he's a Singaporean local who is Pinoy at heart. Would like to thank Leonard for giving us a great tour around Jewel Changi and for spending time with us during our long transit in Singapore. Anyhow, uh, after this we head straight back to Terminal 2 uh, to catch a, uh, at least a few hours of sleep. And uh, see you on board the 787-10 of Singapore Airlines. But for now, thank you for watching and safe travels, everybody.